biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. In the name Boy Scouts. Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm back with this QFXR14. And i uh, got a bunch of comments on this radio. I really was amazed and glad. Um, some updates on it. One is uh, someone suggested that it might operate better on batteries. And uh, I don't disagree with that. Uh, many times I've noticed radios work better on batteries when they have um, built-in AC adapters like this one does and it, you just use a, a power cord. Um, a lot of times that system, the uh, converter and the power cord and everything, will introduce noise. So I agree with the gentleman who said try it on batteries. So this morning I fa finally found some brand new batteries, didn't know I had them, and uh, put them in the radio, and guess what? The radio didn't work. It didn't come on. So I'm like, what is with that? So I took the battery pack, I took the batteries out, and I looked down inside. And I'll see if I can show you, if it'll show up on camera. So here is the area for putting batteries, and D-cell batteries fit. So I put three D-cell batteries in there, and nothing happened. Well, I took the batteries back out, figuring, well, I'm, I don't have a good connection or I don't have them in right, and it won't show up probably, but down in here, and let me see if I can put a flashlight on here, maybe it'll show up a little better, right there, there's the spring connection there. There is usually a uh, metal little tab at the other end, and there is a holder for the tab, but there's no tab. There's no metal down there at all. There's no wires back in there. There is no connection for the battery at this end. So then I was examining it a little closer, and I noticed, let me get the uh, uh, hand out of the way. I noticed this little car compartment down here. And so I noticed a little tab to swing out a little door. And I'll do that right now. I'll try to do it right now. There we go. And it's... it's. Uh, oh, this is Ben Shapiro. Oh. Okay, I just messed up everything. Whoa, okay, we're going to start over here in a minute. Uh, stand by. i got to put the battery... Whoa! <laughs> I, I'm glad that little cover is there because the batteries won't stay in by themselves. Let me try again. <laughs> Get them back in there. So these are AAA batteries. There, I got it. Oh, jeez, that's what? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Chinese puzzle. You don't, If you don't close that door, and let me put my flashlight, if you don't, you know, if you don't close this little door here, the batteries pop back out. But anyway, buried down here in the bottom is another battery compartment for AA batteries. Now, when I first started putting batteries in it, putting the D cells, I thought, man, D cells, for this little thing, they're going to last for a long time. That's pretty cool. But it does add a lot of weight. Well, it, <laughs> there's no connection on this particular radio for the D cells. You know, maybe this case is used for some other radio, and um, then the D cells are necessary. So. What I had to do is get some double A's and bury them down in here. Let me see if I can get them back in and get that little door shut. A little tricky. Oh, Jesus! Oh my gosh! Yeah, you got to be quick, I guess. Okay, get them in and then I'll hold them down. Then I'll close the door. Okay, there we go. So anyway, they are buried down below where the D cell batteries would go. So now it works. That's what you were hearing before, was ring off that those batteries. Um, don't know what the life will be like using AA batteries, but generally there's not much circuitry in these guys. 
So it doesn't draw a lot of power. Now, if you if you left the the disco lights on, if you left those on, and they run all the time. If if you turn the radio off, they're still on it until you turn the switch on the back. If you left those on, it might draw drain the AA batteries uh, quickly. Not likely because these are um, they're LEDs and LEDs don't draw that much power. So anyway, so now I got the um, batteries in there. I'm going to run a test real quick here as soon as I scratch my nose. Um, it is 7.30 a.m. in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. I'm going to turn this guy off so that he doesn't create any noise. There we go. Whoops. Wrong position. There. He's off. Okay, he's off. And I'll turn. I'll raise the telescopic antenna. It's only about two feet long. Pretty short for a short way. And then I'll turn the radio on. Hello. And I'll go to. Uh, let's see. The, the, I noticed one thing about this radio in the band select here. Don't thought it'll show up on my camera. Let me turn that other light back on. Um, is it has. The only markings are FM, TV, medium wave, and short wave, or SW. They're all uh, abbreviated. There's no markings on the seven short or nine short wave bands. So it's kind of really hard to tell which band you're on. Now, I'm going to review this radio next, and it's basically kind of the same layout. Except they have numbers for each of the shortwave bands, so you know which band you're on. I mean, what? what? What's the deal there? So anyway, uh, let's turn. Let's see. I'm going to try to get on. Uh, we'll start with the 49 meter band, which I think would be. I don't know if they read left to right or right to left. I'm going to assume they're left to right. So that would be two. Okay, I'm on two. And I've got something already. So tune it in a little bit. There you go. Now that's a uh, Spanish station. I get Spanish stations, uh, quite a few Spanish stations on shortwave here in Florida. Because number one, we have a lot of Spanish speaking People and number two, uh, Cuba, South America is close by. Now the question is, am I getting that station this morning because I'm on batteries or because conditions have changed? Okay, let's. I'll, I'm going to try to switch it to AC. I don't know. I don't know if you dare leave the batteries in and have the AC hooked up or not. You would think that would be the case. I don't know. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to turn the radio off. Radio's off. Take the batteries out, which will take me 20 minutes to get them back in, but I'm going to take them out. Ah, okay. And now they're in there safe and sound before they kept popping out. So I'm taking the batteries out. Okay, now we're going to close that little door, and then we're going to hook up the AC adapter. Now, I haven't changed the frequency, or at least I don't think I have. And now we're going to hook it up to AC and see if that, I can get that station. Stand by while I kick everything and reach over and get this thing plugged in. Yeah, boy. Okay. Okay, now it's being powered by AC. And that should be the only change that I made. Theoretically. Now let me get the camera back over here. And we're going to turn on and see if that station is still there. Yeah. It's even stronger. I think. 
that conditions are changing. So it appears, uh, at least for that test of one, that using batteries and using AC didn't seem to make any difference. Let's let's see if we can find some other stations. This again, this is on shortwave, and this should be on band two, which is 5.9 to 6.3, or the 49 meter band, which I usually get um, quite a few Spanish, uh, Latin America stations this time of morning, and I get them pretty easy. Okay. There's another one. No Spanish station. Yeah, there's where I'm getting noise. Now, the question is, I, I, before when I was tuning this on the AC, I was getting a lot of noise. And that might be the difference. So I'm going to tune another band, and then I'm going to go back and see if I'm getting as many noise stations um, on batteries as I do on AC. All right, here we go. Bear with me. So let's go to another band. Go to 31 meters. Let me turn it off for a second. Let me turn it. 31 meters is number four, and I have to very carefully count. This is it's three, four, whoop, five, six, seven, four, three, two, one, five, six. No, okay. One, two, three. I think I'm on the fourth band, which is 9.5 to 10 megahertz, or the 31 meter band. Turn the radio on. Noise. 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 Okay, I was not able to get any stations. I was only able to get noise. So now we're going to unplug the AC adapter. We're going to try to get the batteries back in. Oh, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. This, this is a definitely a Chinese puzzle. Okay, we'll slide that one in. And I, whoa, <laughs> jeez. And the secret is, I believe, is you put in the two batteries on each end and then you squeeze in the middle battery and try to hold it so it doesn't pop out. I got it. I got it the first time. There we go. Now we will see if not using AC improves the reception on the 31 meter band that I got nothing but noise. Okay, here we go. Noise level is lower in general, but that could be the audio is lower. Noise. Doesn't look good. Nope. That's my noise on 31 meter band. 
this time of the morning, it's 7.45 a.m. here in Clearwater, Florida, and I tried both AC and DC, and it didn't seem to make any difference. It was only difference I noticed is the audio level, and those are brand new batteries. I just got them out of the bag. Uh, the audio level on the batteries seem to be lower than on AC. That's the only difference I've been able to discern in this limited amount of testing. Another suggestion, which I will do eventually, is getting away from my office, get outside. Best case is to go to a park where there's no power lines or anything real close by. You don't have to get real far away. Um, 100 feet is typically good enough unless you, the power lines have static on them due to, like in the summer, they get static on them. Um, usually if you're 100 feet away from the power lines, they won't interfere. My backyard, I can't get 100 feet away from power lines or the house or anything. So it's, it's better, but it's still not great. The other suggestion was to use an external antenna. Now, this does not have an external antenna jack, so you have to clip it onto the, uh, the telescopic antenna. And I do have an antenna that's built just for that. It has a little clip that comes came with it. I can clip that on there, go to a park, test this radio at the park. That's that's about it. I, can't, I was trying to think of anything else that I ran across um, when I was testing it after I had done the previous show, and I can't think of anything. The, um, the other radio that I got at the same time which was um, this little guy right here and I tested it yesterday just listening to shortwave I was getting a bunch of shortwave stations right here in my office of course using batteries and um, I think this one might work pretty good so we'll see uh, like I say I'll be doing a, um, a, a review of this one and then I'll do so a quick test of shortwave reception on the both of them here and then eventually when the temperature gets down it's been in the 90s here in Florida so it's a little too warm plus the humidities have been in the high 80s too much for an old man like me but when they get back down um, I will take these radios and maybe some other ones and do a, a show um, at the park like I've done in the past if you go back into my my shows, you'll see. I uh, I have a favorite park I go to. I have a uh, I have a fishing pole, a thirty I think it's thirteen foot fishing pole, which I use to hold the long wire antenna up instead of trying to throw it up in a tree. So I'll get that set up going again and uh, answer those questions. So if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and thank everybody who has used my Amazon store. My, the Amazon stores are going away in October. Amazon just decided it's not profitable. They're, they're doing away with them. So I'm encouraging people to use my Amazon store if you have things that you have planned to buy anyway. And the way you can do that is you can go to my Amazon store, which the, um, the link for it is down below in the description of this video or all my videos. And go to my store, pick an item, it will take you to the real Amazon. If you don't want that particular item, just delete it and then buy what you wanted, bird seed or whatever it is, and I still get a commission. The other thing that I'm experimenting with is there's another method of using an Amazon store, and that is to put links to a particular product in the show notes, which a, a lot of YouTubers have been doing that for years. I'm just learning how to do it. That will, when you click on that link, it'll take you to Amazon. It'll recognize that you came from my shows, and you then have the option whether you want to buy that item. So it doesn't automatically put it in your cart like the Amazon store does. So you can just skip that if you didn't want that item. Uh, after you looked at it, you said, no, nah, I don't want it. But while you're there, if you buy something, anything, I think 
I will still get a commission on those other things. That's how the Amazon store works. I'm not sure about these Amazon links. Um, and what I do is I take I get a, I get a small commission from Amazon for anything that you buy going through my links, and then I take that small commission and I buy things to review on my show, like these radios here and some more nicer radios that I bought. Um, works out pretty good. It's so the one way you can support me without that using Patreon. I really don't like using Patreon because it's kind of, it, it seems like it kind of forces you to pay for something, but you don't really get exactly what you want. You just get videos, but you don't get a, an article in your hand like if you went through my Amazon store. So I hope I don't have to resort to that. A lot of people use that. Uh, putting it off as much as I can. Anyway, I babbled enough. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.